So, it is early in the morning. By the way, this is my new house. If you guys wanna see like a MTV Cribs house tour, drop a comment down below and I will make that video for you. But today I am going fishing on a new lake, new pond, I don't know what it is. But I'm going with a subscriber of mine. He says that there are big fish and it's about two hours away, which is farther than I normally travel for these pond video type deals. And it's cold, it's about 33 degrees. Son of a bitch. It's about 33 degrees outside, as you can see, I'm wearing a, uh, a hat and a heavy duty hoodie, and I got bibs in the back that I'm gonna wear. And I think we're going John Boat fishing with uh, no trolling motor, and we're gonna catch some fish today. So I've got all my stuff loaded up. I am fishing with Skyler today. What's up? So I drove an hour to get to where we're at. How far is it from here? It's about 45 minutes. So an hour, 45 minutes total is uh, how far we're going, but you said it's a fire pond? Hopefully, yeah, it usually oh, is. It's I don't usually know. a fire pond. Never so we'll... fished in this lake, but we'll see. All right, we're about to find out. A few moments later. That's not, that's not what you want to see. Well, we ditched, we ditched the truck. We uh, got high centered. Good news is we're on a farm and there's tractors, so at some point we'll get, we'll get pulled out, but we gotta do a kind of a walk-in, a little hiking deal to the pond that we're fishing. So, just a little bump in the road, but uh, it's not gonna ruin the day of fishing. All right, well, we made it to the pond. That's the boat we're gonna be rocking, and that is the pond, so. Let's get fishing. All right, we good boys. We're going old school today. No trolling motor, just just some paddles. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't think he has it. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, he went for it. Yeah, he went for it. He missed it though. He splashed like <laughs> he came flying out of the water. There is definitely little crap in here, man. I, you, you'll catch 13 there he is. There he is. Got him. Nice. Yeah, buddy. They fight like that. Yeah, they do. And they're, the, um, the little ones will make you think they're way bigger. That's a good size though. Yeah. There's, there's about a two pounder. <laughs> that didn't take too long. He uh he crushed his spinner bait. He knocked it out of the water the first cast. And I uh, threw back in there and caught caught another fish. All right, well, that wasn't too difficult, huh? First fish on the spinner bay. See you, buddy. Yeah, aggressive. Jesus, I don't think I've ever had a spinner bay fish do that. There's one. Oh, fish too. Oh, they eating the spinner bay today. Yes. All right, buddy. They're so freaking dark and healthy. Yeah, look at them. They're like these look like Florida fish. So just caught the uh, second bass. It's been like a couple minutes. We just kind of pulled it into this little deal. As you guys can see, it's super windy, so there wasn't really anywhere to, to like anchor up. So we just kind of tossed the anchor back in this little cut. And uh, they're just back here shallow, probably feeding on bait fish, I'm guessing. That's uh, why I picked up that spinner bait, and it seems to be working. All right, see you, Steve. We eat, they eat, they eat, uh, they eat freaking cow guys. I almost brought some today just to try You got one? I think that's, oh, what? What did I just catch? Huh. Well, I uh, come into a new pond, of course, I have to live up to my name and catch myself a good old Nebraska brute. So the bait I'm throwing right here is a Fire Tiger spinner bait, um, willow leaf and uh, gold and silver blades. This is a bait that I started throwing at the last pond I was at and catching fish, and I just had it tied on, and I just decided to throw this. And so far, it's working. They stay record, I don't care if I catch it. There's one. Oh, oh, they eating today. This one's not quite as small as that one. Yeah, this is a, uh, you got one? Yep. Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles, baby. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Finally got hooked up. This is uh, that's why you use a trailer hook right there. Because if I didn't have that, I definitely would not have caught that fish. See you, Gilbert. 
So right now we're headed back to go get the truck unstuck. Got a tractor here, but uh, this, is a, this is a massive workout. Definitely don't need to hit the gym today. All right. The boat is on land and that's the tractor that's gonna pull us out. So they are gonna go pull the truck out. There's only room for two people in the tractor. So I am gonna walk the bank and try to catch some fish while uh, I'm waiting for them to get the truck unstuck. So I brought the spinner bait with me. Since that's the only lure I've caught fish on today, I'm hoping to catch a few more fish on it and then maybe change tactics, try something new. But for now, I'm gonna throw the spinner bait and get backlashes. Gotta love fishing in the wind. There's one. Oh, from the bank. Oh gosh, this actually feels like a good fish. Feels like a better fish than what I caught earlier. I can't get that close to the water because there's mud in front of me. Oh, that's a good large mouth. There we go, from the bank. Yeah, that's the biggest one so far. A little uh, farm pond large mouth on that spinner bait. So now that I'm kind of out of the wind a little bit and the audio is probably a little bit better, I'll kind of explain why I chose a spinner bait over a chatter bait, which is what you guys always see me throw. Other than the fact that I already had it tied on and I was, I was just gonna give it a shot. Uh, usually I, I find better luck with spinner baits when it's really windy, like not, not like five miles an hour, but like 10 plus um, when it's just kind of gusting wind. That's usually when I, I don't know, find my most success fishing is uh, with a spinnerbait versus a chatterbait. That doesn't mean you can't catch fish on a chatterbait when it's windy. The buddy I'm with right now, he's throwing the chatterbait and he, got, he caught a few fish as well, but that's just kind of one of those deals where I've, I've got more confidence in a spinnerbait on uh, super windy days like today. Oh, 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 right at the bank. Right at the bank, <laughs> he crushed it. There's another one. Well, this farm pond's pretty much just loaded. If you guys couldn't tell, and I definitely found the uh, lure of choice. All these little munchkins like. Gotta weed through these small guys. We're basically gonna fish the rest of the day to catch some big ones. But uh, still, uh, still a lot of fun to catch these guys. We uh, got the truck back, so we gotta ride home. We're not gonna have to hitchhike our way back to Omaha. That's always good. We're back on the boat. The anchor's not really holding. So we're doing kind of like a controlled drift here. I'm gonna stick with the spinner bait for a little bit. All right, it is, uh, it's about 10 o'clock. We made, we made it back on the boat after getting the truck unstuck and then we realized that this wind sucks. So we're actually gonna beach the boat and we're gonna spend, and there's catfish busting. We're gonna spend the rest of the fishing adventure fishing from the shore. So these are the two poles I'm taking, spinner bait and jerk bait. I am gonna head to the dam and uh, see if we can catch the big ones. I did bring my tackle box, so. I like to throw a different lure than the spinner bait just because it kind of gets repetitive, but for now I'm going to stick with it and try to catch a few more fish. The jerk bait I'm throwing here is a uh, little Mega Bass, Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, I'll put the link in the description for this, the rod, the reel, the line, as well as for the spinner bait that I've been throwing or any other lures that I throw throughout the rest of the day. But I'm really just kind of hoping for a big fish now. I've, I've caught a lot of small ones. No big ones yet. I'm not sure. I figure the jerk bait, sometimes jerk baits can catch bigger fish. There's another one. There's another one. They're eating it on that pause. Just got to twitch a couple times and pause it. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh my goodness. You ever seen a bluegill this big eat a jerk bait? One rod would be freaking out. This is probably my PB bluegill. He would be, he would be screaming. Well, that's the first bluegill I've caught. Look how big that is compared to my hand. That's a slab. That's bait. There oh, oh, no, no, no. Did you get him? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought no way he's gonna catch that. You actually caught it. He almost got away. All right, he's gonna use that as bait to catch a catfish. There's uh, there's so many of them in here that the uh, farmer asked us to take some out, as well as some small bass, which we're not doing today. We're gonna see if we can come here ice fishing and take some bass out. But it's just part of regulating ponds. It's not like I'm taking out of lakes where it's frowned upon to keep the bass and eat the bass. Like I get it, like I'm not one to keep or eat bass, but when you're trying to like manage ponds, that's usually what you like to do. And I just caught another fish. What is this? Is this another sunfish? For the love of God, what is this? Oh, it's a baby bass. Wow. He's about as big as my jerk bait. All right, so there's a school of fish out there because I've caught some fish. I'll show you what you do. You cast out there, you reel down, 
real, real, real. You do two jerks, and then you just let it sit there. You reel up the slack and just hold your line kind of semi-tight, and you wait. Yeah, yep, there he is, I told you. you. Just gotta sit there and wait. I let that one sit for probably 20 seconds. Oh, he had me right around that log and came off. Either way, you guys kind of get the idea. That's, that's basically what you're doing. It's just, once you kind of find where they're schooled up, you kind of throw it out there, jerk down a few times, and you just let it sit. Now you really, when you're fishing in November, when it's really cold like this, you really just want to let, let that jerk bait just kind of sit there and suspend, and they'll come and, they'll come and eat it. Ooh, ooh, either he's in weeds or I got a big in. Oh goodness, I think he was in weeds. I don't know, he feels pretty good, much better. Oh, there's a good one. Yep, that's a healthy two and a quarter. That's more the size we're looking for is uh, those dudes right there. Good fish. All right, see a Kareem. Oh, big one. That one's better. I was kind of swimming that worm in that time. That's the biggest one of the day for sure. Definitely. I just kind of set the hook kind of lazy. I've just been getting a ton of ton of bites. I've catching a lot of fish and getting a ton of bites, so I'm just kind of like setting the hook, doing, being a little bit lazy, and uh, it turns out I think that's probably the biggest one for sure. Uh, right on that shaky head, just kind of swimming that worm in. See you later, Nancy. All right, well, it's about noon, and I need to drive home two hours and uh, get some homework done. I've got a math test to do, some macroeconomics to do, all that fun stuff. So I'm headed back now. Um, I'll go back to the truck here and do kind of like a little recap and maybe do give you guys a few tips on fall fishing, although I am fishing a farm pond, so it's not quite the same as lakes. I still think um, we kind of dialed them in just a little bit. So that is the end of this fishing adventure. It's uh, about 50 degrees outside right now. So fall is approaching. It's kind of early, mid-November. And a lot of times what bass do is they feed up before winter. So I think that's just kind of the time. You got to really hit in like a time slot of uh, when the bass are going to be feeding like this. But I mean, overall, had a good time. If you are fishing in November like I am, if you're like in the Midwest and it's cold, my tips to you would be throw jerk baits and spinner baits if it's windy. Um, and I mean, whether it's cloudy or sunny, doesn't matter. If it's windy, throw that. If it's calm, I would throw a shaky head or a finesse jig. Those are pretty much the tips that I would give you guys uh, for any of you guys watching at home that want to know what you should be throwing right now. If you also want to know how to catch fish every single month, go click the link down below to my Patreon account. That is where every single month I give you a list of baits to use for that month as well as the colors and uh, when to throw them and how to throw them. I'll make an exclusive YouTube video and send you guys the link. So if you guys want that exclusive information, check the link down below to my Patreon account and uh, I'll help teach you guys how to catch more fish. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we got a two hour drive home. Like I said, gonna go do some homework and hopefully wake up tomorrow morning and do some more fishing. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Oh look, I found some ducks. I think they think I'm gonna feed them. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm fishing. I'm not, I'm not gonna feed you.